As I mentioned in a previous video, I have a lot of time on my hands in retirement. My daughter Lisa, who's an expert in social media, convinced me it would be a lot of fun to become a video blogger. We, who are giants in the social media business, call this vlogging. I'm going to use this as a forum to share my thoughts about music and record some of the piano arrangements that have been taking a lot of my time over the last couple of years. The first few videos will start with thoughts about uh, why we like the songs we like and what's behind the success of most pop songs. For the first session, we're going to look at the two biggies besides marketing that account for a pop song success. That's lyrics and the musical hook. Hopefully you'll have a little bit more insight into your own musical taste and mine as well. Hello, it's me. I was wondering... Of course that was Adele's Hello, and she made a huge amount of money from that song for one reason. She's a master at delivering lyrics that connect with a large amount of people. A billion people watched that on YouTube in the first 87 days, and it made all kinds of records. I chose this example because the melody and supporting chords have very little to do with the song's success. With a lot of people, it's all about the lyrics. Just listen to the coaches on vocal reality shows like The Voice and American Idol. It's all about telling the story, leaving it all on the stage with emotional connection with the audience. In my case, all attention goes to what the backup musicians are doing, and the lyrics are lost on me, unfortunately. I played bass for some 40 years professionally and had to concentrate on what was going on instrumentally with a band and what can I say, old habits die hard. It's no surprise then that I'm not a part of the huge fan base of artists like Bob Dylan and Leonard Cohen or genres like rap, country and western folk that depend on lyrics for their popularity. Whether you're into lyrics or not, you'll like music with a great musical hook. What's a musical hook? Well, I just played one. You may not know that's Cream Sunshine of Your Love, but I'll bet you recognize it. What's a musical hook? Well, it's something that's catchy and memorable. It can be a lyrical line or melodic phrase that gets in your head as a brain worm. Here are a couple of examples from Billboard's top 20 pop hooks of all time. It can also be a rhythm or a beat that makes you want to get up and dance. Don't confuse a great melodic hook with a great melody. A melodic hook is usually a very small part of the whole song. It's that part that everyone sings along with when the DJ plays a song at a dance party. I know I do it, and I'm just guessing you probably do it too. When we compose music, we have to be careful about using the musical hook too often. It gets monotonous and sometimes downright annoying through repetition. I've composed a musical hook and I'll use it to illustrate this principle. If you find it annoying, relax, it's only about 30 seconds to demonstrate the mistake of overusing the hook. I'll follow it later with a better version. Before I play the clip, this is the musical hook that could become a brain worm. I play this melodic phrase or a minor variation of it four times over the course of the 30 second clip. Here's the clip.
In this version, I've used the hook only once in the beginning and once at the very end. I hope you enjoy this version better. Wrapping up this first session, two big reasons a lot of people like a song enough to make it a hit. First, they connect with the lyrics, and second, the song has a strong musical hook. Personally, I don't pay attention to the lyrics when I'm listening to a song, but I'm seduced by a great musical hook as much as the next person. Hold on, there are songs that have universal appeal, but they don't have lyrics and they don't have a strong musical hook. What the heck's going on with those? Hey, stay tuned for my next video.